Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following prayers for channel na napunta rito at then join sa devotional premiere natin. Shout out and God bless to IB Blog, Francis Laiko, Carl Ang TV, TV, Yance TV, SEC TV of Korea, Jonas Salondaga, Heart Pond Salon, uh, Mami Rose Blog, Retro Blog, Connie Blog, Connie Love, Michael Aborita, Mabel Docosin, Baracel Imbudo, Nimpa Amutin, Chris Figueroa, uh, 24-7, SCTV of Korea, Ping Built, Bertolpo, PLC, and even to those who did join us during the premium, but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at nakinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. TV tapos na talaga yung long weekend natin no? kaya we have to set our mind na sana nakamove on tayo <laughs> kasi yung iba gusto pa nila ma vacation extend pa rin yung vacation kasi nasanay tayo di ba parang relax yung mind natin pag uh, holiday at vacation pero yan we have to move on uh, balik na naman tayo sa normal natin mga ginagawa everyday kaya uh, mindset tayo mindset tayo Let's focus para may matapos tayo. Okay guys, let's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 23 verses 44 to 46. This is about the death of Jesus. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified na maintain that talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Luke chapter 23 verses 44. The fourth forty six says, It was now about six hours, and darkness came over the whole land, until the ninth hour, for the sun stopped shining, and the curtain at the temple was torn into two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Amen and Amen. I right, guess let's now pray father god we know that uh, you died but after it two days after you rose from the dead yes father god we ourselves has difficulty uh, adjusting ourselves to grief difficulty of accepting the grief that is in us especially if these things are done in a sudden way Lord, help us to move on. Help us to move on. I pray, O oh God, for your protection over us, O oh God. Cover us all the God, you will against the walls and skins the enemy. That the enemy could not really touch us, O oh God. Lord, please help us cover us, O oh God. Let your warring angel be on guard to each one of us, O oh God. That no elements could attack us, even illness, bacteria, Microorganism, Lord God. Infections and anything, O Lord. Lord, help us. Protect us, O God. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Luke chapter 23, verse 46. It says, Jesus called with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is A Glossary for Grief. When Ho and Didi released their only child to heaven, they struggled with what to call themselves in the aftermath. There is no specific word in the English language to describe a parent who has lost a child. A wife without her husband is a widow. A husband without his wife is a widower. A child Bereaved of parents is an orphan. A parent whose child has died in an undefined hollow of hurt, miscarriage, sudden infant death, suicide, illness, accident. Death steals a child.
from this world and then rouse the surviving parents of an expressed identity. An expressed identity. Yet God himself understands such devastating grief as his only son Jesus called him while dying on the cross. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit in Luke 23 verse 46. God was father before Jesus' earthly birth and remained father when Jesus released his final breath. God continued as father when the still body of his son was laid in a tomb. God lives on today as father of a recent son who brings every parent the hope that a child can live again. What do you call a heavenly father? who sacrifices his son for the universe, for you and for me. Father, still a father. When there are no words in the glossary to grief, to describe the pain of loss, God is our father and calls us his children. In First Gen 3, 1. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, kanina, pag-isip ko pa lang, somebody na uh, chat me na yung lula niya raw ay na pray ko kasi napapray, napapray siya is namatay na. Sabi ko, Lord, grabe naman, no? Uh, sana he pass away with God sa heart natin. Kasi if we have God in our heart, no? if we have accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord, then for sure, of course, because we have relationship with God, we have accepted Him as our personal Savior and Lord, we can really go to heaven. Many wanted to go to heaven without even having a relationship with God. <laughs> Napaka-unfair naman kay God yun. No? Na, na, ano siya, na uh, He sacrificed Himself for us in order for us to have eternal life. Napaka-matay siya para sa atin, pero tayo, wala tayong action na nagawa. And then we always claim that we will go to heaven. Paano yan? Kaya, we have to do something also in order to have a relationship with God. Let's confess our sin, accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord, and then the choice is there. God would really change you. No? Not in an instant, but slowly, God is changing you. Yes, Jesus Christ also cried, Father, into the hand I commit my spirit. Diba? Yung may isa pa, uh, uh, Eli, 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 labas sa baktani. My God, my God, why, ha, why are you, why have you forsaken me? Diba? Parang ganun yung feeling natin. No? Lord, why did you forsake me? No? Ganun din yung experience ni Lord, ni Jesus Christ. But still, sa so describe niya sa ano natin, devotion ng natin, no matter what happened, He is still our Father. We can still call Him Abba Father, no matter what happens. Yes, takot tayo may mamatay sa na mga membro ng pamilya natin kasi it really pains us. It really pains us. Sino bang may gusto na ganyan? But all of us will really die and pass away. Ako, I'm really praying na Lord, sana masurpass ko yung mga ano, yung mga uh, edad ng parents ko. My mother died at 70. Naka, ano siya talaga? Nakahumuran. Kasi yung nakasulat sa Bible is age 70, pinaka-limit ng tao. My father, got, my father died at 76. Sabi ko, Lord, thank you for the gift you have given to my father, an extension of his life na for six years. Kaya ako, Lord, sabi ko, I'm helping other people, I'm sharing God's word, and I... I I also want to have bargain to you to extend my life longer than what they have. Well, I do not know. <laughs> That's my desire. That's my prayer. And only God the Father knows about it. I guess as I proceed to the two question. How does it shape your heart to realize that God remains your father and calls you his child? Always. Wow, it's a little assurance, no? I do not have, I do not have my earthly father now. They died, no? But I can call God as a child. Lamintay kay Lord. Father naman natin siya, eh, di ba? 
Maglamin tayo sa Kanya. And God will really give us the desires of our heart. Ano man yung hinihingi natin? Lamin lang tayo sa Kanya. Second question. How might this thought comfort you? Well, I'm living alone. Uh, I'm helping a lot of people. No? Then I also have my needs. Physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. And above all, spiritually. So, ang ginagawa ko is, wala. Ano lang ako kay Lord palagi. I, I'm always in a hurry to go home every time I finish my work and then after reaching, grab the Bible, study, meditate on it, and then while uh, taking a bath in the evening, yun, nagmumuni-muni ako, Lord, uh, how would I apply the word sa buhay ko? Yan. Then after that, prayer, uh, before this devotional, na-prepare ako kung sino yung pupunta dito. Kaya, before you come to this devotional, napag-pray ko na kayo. No? Lalong-lalo na yung mga regular na mga andito, you're always being prayed for. And then, after that, di ba, nag-chat-chat ako, thank you for joining the devotional. Yan. And after that, I'm praying for you again. And Lord, thank you na siya pumunta rito na join sa devotional. Bless her his heart, his family, and even yung mga needs niya. Nagpapalaban ako kay Lord sa father natin kasi he is the father of all mankind. Are you guys, let's now pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being our father and claiming us your child. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, he is our father and we are his children. God bless us always because I know what you all bless us 10 times better. This is again the Church TV. Kita-kita tayo mo rin. Tengah sa muli. Paalam!